everybody. It's April with Stitch Upon a Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how I attach my bow to a messy bun beanie. I've had a lot of people ask how I attach it. I'm sure there's different ways people do it, but I'm going to show you how I attach mine. So for this project, of course, you'll need your bow your messy bun beanie or whatever you're going to be attaching the bow to and the same color yarn that your beanie would be and of course you'll need scissors and a yarn needle there it is <laughs> so anyhow we're just going to get started um when i tie the bow when i tie the back or the middle part i always have uh, i always save two strings from the original tie and I start with that. So what I will do is find my my seam here. I did a seamless seam. So I'm gonna have to hey, it's it's not a bad thing when you can't find the seam of your hat, right? That's that's good. That's a good thing. So <laughs> um I'm just gonna guess that it would be um let's see, sorry about that. I should have been prepared, but anyhow, okay, here it is. So I can tell it's right there. So I am going to place, this is a preference thing, but I am going to place it right here in the last row of the double crochets or half double crochets that I did. So, all right, let's um, get started. So I'm going to go ahead and that in there and then I'm gonna go in on one side and then actually you might want to grab a, a crochet hook because you don't need to thread this for this part and then I just grab I go in so here's my half double crochet okay and I put the yarn in on this side of it and then I'm gonna go in on sometimes I'll do two so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna skip one and then go into the other side of the next one and then I'm going to grab these two and like I said some people do this differently this is just the way I do it um, and so I tie a knot here and I um, make sure it's really really secure I'll do like three or four knots Okay, and then I take my scissors and I cut close to the knot like that. And then I'm going to use another piece of yarn. Oops. Let's go through this line. Okay, and then I'm going to do an attachment on both sides of the bow so it stays in place. And that's, I'm just going to go wherever I think. So I'll probably go right in here. And then I try to just, instead of like, I try to just go down like this. So I know where it is on like on the hat. So it doesn't, so I don't do like, let's say right here and then it's way off or way out like that. So if you want to do a little out so that it's scrunched up like that, that's fine too. Like I said, this is all a preference, but I have had a lot of people ask how I do it. So just showing you. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and grab on to um, a double crochet for my bow. And then I'm going to go through. And then I'm going to go in on the other side of the half double crochet on the beanie. And then I'm going to pull that tight. And before I actually tie it, I'm going to make sure I like the placement. And I do. I think that's a good spot. And then I'm going to turn, go in inside the hat here. Turn it inside out or whatnot. And then I'm going to tie it just like so. And I do about four. And then again here, I'm just going to cut it. Some people would prefer to weave in the ends. Um, this is why I use 
not the same color. Well, in this instance, both is the same color. But if this was like a black bow on this beanie, then I would definitely use the color of the beanie um, to attach so that when someone looks inside, it's not very noticeable at all. Um, but you can weave in those ends if you'd like. It's it's up to you. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and get another piece of yarn. Ah. And I'm going to thread it. And I'm going to go from the inside. And I'm going to find a half double crochet there. Make sure I just go straight up. And then I'm going to grab on to the, the double crochet from the bow. Go through. I'm still holding on to my yarn inside the hat. I'm going to go through there. And then go on the other side of a post there. Double, or half double crochet post. And then I'm going to snug on this to make sure I like the placement. And I do. So I'm going to put it inside out and tie it three, four times. And that's all you have to do to attach a bow. Um, it's attached. I like to do it this way rather than use one long one and sew it in and all that just because I feel like it's more secure this way. Um, but yeah, and it's easy and bows attach. Um, sometimes I will do another one in the middle. So I'll just do that with you right now. Um, so I know that it's nice and secure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get another piece of yarn, thread it. I'm gonna go right here in the same spot, those two uh, half double crochets. And then I'm gonna go around this part, the middle of that bow, pull through and Go back in there and tie it one more time. Oops. And that way I know this bow is really secure. If they wash it, dry it, whatnot. Um, I, I actually don't dry my hats. I lay them flat um, to dry, but that's, again, another preference thing. But anyhow, if they do want to dry it, it's not going anywhere. That is nice and secure. So that is how I attach my bows to my Messy Bun beanies.